What is the crack, Les? What's going on? Hope you guys are good. Today, we're just bringing you guys up to date with a weekly roundup because, I, look, there is a bit of confusion with the Bruno Cup and there's a bit of confusion with some other stuff as well. So we're going to try and clear that up. And I have got confirmation from Konami exactly how it works, right? So as far as I know, you will still get your 300 coins if you have uh, registered your team by yesterday. It doesn't matter where you're from and it doesn't matter what region you picked. And it doesn't matter what team your base team was set up to. Check out my video yesterday if you didn't check that out already because that will explain everything in about four minutes. Um, it's a very short video. But basically, anyone was able to pick any team, any base team. And as far as I know, you everybody gets the 300 coins. That's what I've been told. That's what it looks like is going to be the way it is. But you won't be able to play the Bruno Cup Challenge event if you are not from one of the six uh, participating regions, right? So we have got, finally got confirmation on that right here, right now, right? So when we actually go over to Twitter, they have actually tweeted out a new um, uh, a tweet. I don't know, sorry, Les, I just had a, a brain fart there. But the first Bruno Cup Challenge event is now live on console for PC users and console users in these regions, right? So you've got the UK, France, Italy, uh, Spain, Germany, and Turkey. It says log in and clear the three challenges to secure a Bruno Fernandes card and a shot at becoming one of the 12 national finalists, right? So when it says this here, it says to take part in the Bruno Cup, head to authentic match events and continue to the Bruno Challenge, right? But when we go back here, obviously we're going to go to authentic, we're going to go to events and we're not going to have the Bruno Cup here. Now, the reason for that is because my region is Ireland and Ireland are not in one of those regions. So the six regions that are there that we just called out, that's the region that is only able to play in this event. So if you're from Portugal, you can't play this event. If you're from Greece, you can't play in this event. Even if you've picked your base team as one of the six, it has to match up with the region. So yeah, that just probably clears up a lot of confusion. As far as I know, Everyone will still get to 300 coins if you did what I told you to do yesterday on the video, but only the six regions that we've mentioned here in this video and in that tweet this morning will be able to play the game, actually play the event and get further rewards. So only these six regions will be able to play the Bruno event. Everyone will be able to get to 300 coins if you did what I explained in the video yesterday. So that's just clearing up that. Obviously with the Dream Team uh, matches and the events then as well, um, we have... A couple of new rinse and repeated events. We've got the International Cup. The two of them are back. Six days left. We've got the National Team where you get a free International Cup spin. Um, this is obviously 50 coins. And this is 50 coins. And then you've also got the AI match where you get 30,000 GP as long as with everything else. And then obviously we've got new cards as well. We've got a lot of new players updated as well. I'll show you towards the end. We've got a lot of new player faces and I'll show you a couple of the best ones. Um, but yeah, we have got the, the contract there as well. No new packs, no new national packs. They'll probably come Monday. Um, but we've got Brazil here from 1994. I've done a pack review on them already. Romario, Cafu, Bebeto are in a pack of 150. You've got the International Cup Player of the Weeks. So you've got Mbappe. You've got Richarlison. You've got a right wing Bruno Fernandes. You've got Hernandez. You've got Morata. Uh, it's a fairly good pack as well if you guys want to do that but you know you should have good players already you've got the japanese national team pick uh our pack which is from december the first and you've got a couple of players from the japanese squad that were missing in both the premium edition and in the selection that they had and then obviously we have these that are going to be ending uh that in three days and they're already from last week so yeah that's pretty much it lads there's no new packs here obviously uh there are a couple of new objectives as we said at the start uh there's a couple of new objectives there obviously that will tie in with the bruno one uh but nothing else there obviously the the objectives here you can still play through them uh the career ones they've just added a couple to them um if you haven't spotted them and if you haven't cleared them yet they'll just continue to add those obviously with the new events that are rinsed and repeated so that's pretty much it and then we also have a couple of players uh, that will be able to show you that they have updated so uh, there's a couple of new squads uh, that they've updated a couple of new player cards uh, one of the players that they've updated is Mukoku who is the youngster uh, from Germany he is on and he's got a, a proper face now so yeah look it's small things but obviously just to keep you up to date it is small things you know when you're you're missing the likes of uh, co-op and you're missing the likes of um you know master league and all that obviously look we get that but yeah it's a fairly decent phase to be honest um 
and they've updated a couple of the player cards and a couple of the assets as well but yeah that's pretty much it lads for your weekly roundup i won't keep you too much longer we do also have uh i think who else is there that i spot i'll have to go in and check a load of the teams but yeah i think we spotted uh javi from the netherlands and from the, the psg the psg player simons or simons is it i'm not too sure what his name is i think it's simon simons uh so he was obviously there as well we'll get him on you can see that his player card has been updated to be a real player card so you can see the difference there between the two of them one is a real player the other is like an in-game model uh so yeah this guy as well has got a really nice uh player player face now um so yeah i mean look they are going to be continuing to add stuff to this game obviously we still need more man we still need more and we're always going to need more until they get everything kind of in um but yeah at the same time i suppose it is what it is there's his face there which looks quite decent um but yeah it is a pity with that bruno cut man i think it does kind of alienate a lot of people uh that aren't from that region now maybe they'll do other tournaments with different regions which would be quite cool um you know but it is a bit of it does it does kind of suck that you can't play even if you're from portugal man you can't play the bruno fernandez cup you know it is a bit comical so yeah hopefully that there's a reason behind it and hopefully that they will bring more tournaments out um and yeah if you are able to participate in that let me know what the tournament looks like let me know what the challenges are like and get in touch in the comments below lads but that is it for me don't forget to subscribe lads if you haven't subscribed already we are trying to get um we are trying to get uh, as many subscribers as we can as we continue to you know to grind and continue to do a load of a load of content daily content um and i will continue to keep you guys up to date and yeah hopefully they add more stuff obviously this fi football festival is going to be going on for 41 days um we also have as well just before i let you go we also have new dominant defenders coming which will be coming next week they're up on efootballdb.com at the moment uh so these are all the dominant defenders here at the moment you've got uh how many you've got two four six eight nine um so yeah that should be an interesting one as well now obviously they won't have as high levels as you probably see here but they will be close to this obviously they'll be updated on that date the next dominant defenders uh update that will be coming so yeah a couple of nice selections in there as well you can check them out as well as every other player on efootballdb.com and any feedback let me know and i'll pass it on to the lads uh that run efootballdb so yeah that is it for me i'll be back quite soon i hope you guys uh, have a good weekend and if i'm not talking to you before that we will try get in a live stream today hopefully today later on so hopefully see you guys in chat and if not we will see you in the next video all right lads peace